This is from 1985, so we don't have the full game footage. We don't have multiple camera angles. We don't have even the whole play here, but we have this one highlight. I found it super interesting. First and second, Vince Coleman steals third, overslides the bag. He's in no man's land, doesn't know what to do, gets up, just runs away from the glove. Ron Say, the third baseman, looks at the ump, says, hey, I tagged him, didn't I? Um says, no. So Coleman starts jogging. He's got to get in a pickle now. Little rundown. He should be dead. He's caught up in between both of them, and at this point, the trail runner is coming to third, and you can see the third base coach saying, slide, slide, slide. Ron say, here's that, turns around to check on that runner, then turns back to check on Coleman, and the first baseman never covered home, so Coleman scores. So really the first baseman's fault here, and now McGee's just standing on third while they argue about the tag, and he takes off for home, and now we're, no, 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 obviously you can't do that. Come on, man. Time's been called, but we all appreciate the effort, but we all understand it doesn't matter. They're arguing – Two things over there. And then later on, they kind of argued that the official score screwed this up. Is that Joe West's dad? Is that Joe West? Both answers could be correct. No one knows. So when he overslides the bag, first they're arguing that he tagged him, which I don't think he did. I slow-moed it. I looked at it. Then they argued that he ran out of the baseline, but he kind of didn't do it on purpose, so I don't think that's the right call either. Vince Coleman was super fast. They gave him two steals on this play, which I think is fair. But McGee shouldn't have gotten two steals. One should have been a fielder's choice, I guess. But then isn't the trail runner in a double steal always a fielder's choice? So maybe it is four steals on one pitch. That's got to be the most amount of steals you can get on one pitch without an error or a fielder's choice. You would think, or bases are loaded, everyone takes off for one bag, that's three, and then for some reason people go brain dead and then the two runners take off again. Another run scores. That would be five stolen bases. And then the runner who was on first is on third now. They're brain dead again. He goes home. Maybe you can have six stolen bases in one pitch. I don't know. I've never seen it. If anyone has, let me know. Maybe a Little League game. Anyway, Vince Coleman was fast as hell, man. He stole 110 bases his rookie season. 107 the next, 109. He led the league the National League in stolen bases from age 23 to 28. He was also kind of not a great guy. Threw fireworks at little kids and hurt them, and that's not fun. I don't like that at all. I like baseball, though, and I got a podcast called Talking Baseball, and you should check it out because it's a really good podcast if I say so myself. But of course I would say that because it's my podcast, and I'm on it. So you check it out. Tell me if I'm right or wrong.